Hello and welcome back to the video game Moir, the series where we pull back the curtain and show you the process and repair. Where the hell's that music coming from? Well, hey there, Timmy. What seems to be your problem? Sega Genesis got you down? Let me guess, it won't read any cartridges. What if I told you there was a place where you could take it to get it fixed? Yeah, just take it to that young fellow over there and he'll help you out. Hello, and welcome back to the Video Game OR, the series where we pull back the curtain and show you the process in repairing and restoring video game consoles and accessories. In this episode, we'll be tearing into this dusty-ass Sega Genesis I got off of Facebook for $20 and giving it a good cleaning. So without any further ado, let's begin. To begin, flip over the console, then using a Phillips head screwdriver, locate and remove the six screws holding this biatch together. Once the screws are removed, carefully take the top of the system off. I say carefully because the power LED is connected to the board via two wires, and a swift removal may cause damage to the connector. To completely remove the top, take the two legs of the LED and bend them upwards, then slide the connector off. Now it's time to take care of this RF shielding. To do this, work your way around the board and remove the Phillips head screws. Well, given the way the dust is kicked on here, I'd say someone's timeout has lasted a bit too long. Upon further inspection of the board, there appears to be corrosion at the base of the power switch. How unfortunate. We'll be dealing with that later. First, let's get the board out by removing the black screws holding the cartridge slot down. Now we should be able to remove the... pardon me, as I'm a bit of a dumbass. I forgot there was another screw under the headphone jack. Damn, looking inside this Genesis is giving me flashbacks to my honeymoon with my ex-wife. This is one dirty shell. What even is this? Let's try not to question it and just send it to the wash. Huh. It would appear as if the cleaning footage has been misplaced. Hold on while I deal with the problem. Oh, well, Phil, could you come in here a moment? What do you need? Alright, now that's taken care of. To wash the plastics, use a toothbrush with soap and water. Scrub the plastics down thoroughly and leave them to dry overnight. Now it's time to deal with the corrosion problem. Grab your girlfriend's toothbrush and apply some isopropyl alcohol to it, then start scrubbing. Don't worry, this Genesis isn't going to be intoxicated. IPA is safe to use on circuit boards as it dries quickly. It also does a good job at cleaning corrosion off of components. Once everything is dry, it's time to reassemble. Take the bottom half of the shell and place the bottom RF shielding in, followed by the motherboard, and then the top piece of RF shielding. Screw down the cartridge slot using two black screws, then work your way around the perimeter reinstalling the short Phillips screws. And try not to forget the one that goes under the headphone jack. Before adding the top shell, we'll need to put the LED back in. The longer leg is the anode. This side needs to go into the socket with the red wire in order for the LED to light up when the system is on. Line up the LED legs with the socket and slide it in gently to make sure that you don't break off one of its legs. As I was saying, just slide the socket on gently and bend the legs in 90 degrees to make sure that it doesn't slip off. On later models, they have a detachable power LED plate. To the owners of that model, you can reattach your panel now. As for the launch model Genesis owners, the plate is attached to the high-definition graphics ring and cannot be easily removed. When reattaching the lid, make sure that the headphone jack is set to low and the power switch is off. What is this? Son of a b once the lid is on, test to make sure that all the buttons and sliders feel right, then screw the Genesis back together. And with that, we have now cleaned an otherwise nasty Sega Genesis. 
If you enjoyed, remember to like the video and ring the bell if you haven't already so that you don't miss any new episodes of Video Game OR. Also, feel free to leave a comment on what you'd like to see from the OR for a chance to be featured in the next video. And with that, we'll see you guys in the next one.